was a young lad. I was very keen on the beach and the fishing, and uh, I started fishing uh, uh, 1978, and it was more of a hobby that turned into a job, really, uh, and then it developed into a way of life. I feel quite, quite comfortable on the sea. You ought to treat it with great respect. It's a very powerful force. Uh, always work with the weather and not against it. And work with the tides and not against the tides. And there's always a new lesson to be learnt. The bass seasons have changed over the last uh, 10 years. The bass seem to be here in April right through to November where in the, in the past I, I didn't start till the end of May and finish 1st of September. We'd all were uh, shrimping then but uh, the last few years I've managed to carry on into November. The days of coming out at full speed uh, to the fishing grounds are gone. We tend to use the tide and just come out on ticket over slowly, so keep the fuel bill as low as possible. That is a big problem, not just for fishing, for, ev for everybody. So that's why it's important to try and eat local produce now. Keep the transport costs down to a minimum, and you're helping the local community, keep everything within your community, and that's the way forward, really, at the moment. The days of flying food all around the world are short-lived, really. The fish have got to be a certain size. Um, if you look, there's lines on the board. Uh, and uh, the bass have to be 36 centimetres, so I'll put the head against there. And the tail has got to reach that line. Anything under there goes back in the sea. But the nets I use uh, don't usually catch undersized fish because they swim through it. Quite a sustainable way of fishing. Unlike the trawling, the trawling tends to crush the fish, but with the gill nets, the, the fish swim through and uh, live another day. It's a beautiful fish. I don't need to know that one. Bars of silver. These are the guys we don't want. I started there was 12 full-time men, we're down to two now, or maybe three, well there's three and there's a couple of part-timers. People like eating fish so there'll always be a demand for fish. I should think there'll always be fishing and there'll always be somebody wants to have a go. But the worrying thing is there's no youngsters coming into it. I don't know what's going to happen in 30 years time unless there's a change of Art, I don't know, I can't see anybody doing it, wanting to do it. 
there's still a lot of fishing going on in the top of Scotland and in the southwest of England and the rest of the country is uh, the few diehards that are left really. The younger people don't want to do this sort of work now, it's there's easier ways of making a living. But this is a way of life, it's what I enjoy so as long as I can get enough to live on I'll, I'll carry on. <laughs>